Well, hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. So today's video is to teach you a simple formula to help you become a social media influencer. So if you've heard anything about sales, you know that in order for you to actually build and repeat sales that you must have the no like and trust factor, the KLT. So I'm going to show you how you can build that using a bead formula. Okay. So the bead stands for build your network with like-minded individuals. So if you caught the video um, that I made yesterday where I actually show you how to find new friends on Facebook, this kind of goes hands in hand. You want to find people who have similar interests to you. You want to find people who have the same mindset or mentality that you have. Now, this is not closed-minded thinking, you guys. It's actually because... When you think about it, you don't want to have to try to convince somebody that they want something that they truly don't want. For example, if someone truly hates dogs, you don't want to try to convince them that they want a pit bull. OK, so you want to kind of stick with your audience. And with that, you're going to be able to build a tribe of people that know, like and trust you because you have similar interests. Right. You're actually going to lower their resistance barrier. The E stands for engage with their content and post. So you don't want to just add them to your Facebook friends list or followers, or if you're using Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, or whatever, you don't want to just add them and never ever communicate with them after the fact. That pretty much negated the whole process of finding them, okay? Because at the end of the day, people don't really care how much you know. They care how much you care. So you want to engage with their posts. You want to talk to them. You want to communicate with them. And that way it's going to show them that you are a real person. A, attract existing and new followers to you. So this is where you're going to make your post, okay? So at the basis of this is kind of like content marketing, but this is where you're going to put out some type of content that's going to be attractive to your ideal audience. Now, remember, and I covered this before about the three E's. So when we post, we are going to post to either empower, educate, or entertain people. This is going back into attracting your ideal audience, okay? So, and I say um, attracting new people to you because these type of posts, you want to make them public. So anybody stumbling upon your stumbling, okay, stumbling upon your um, profile, they can see that. Or if people are actually sharing the content that you have, which is even better because you want to create content that people share, this is going to bring them back to your profile. And D, you want to develop the relationship or develop the deal. And this is where we're going to take things into a private setting, which is Messenger. Now, pretty much all of the social media platforms have some type of messenger, whether it be a private messenger or a direct message, whatever you want to call it. But you want to get them in Messenger. And from this, you can develop the relationship. You can answer any type of questions that they have. And then, of course, you can direct them to where you want them to go. So if you want them to purchase from you, you can tell them where exactly to go. If you want them to actually sign up for your email list, you can show them where you want them to go. And of course, because you have them in Messenger, it's going to be also easier for you to follow up with them, right? So if you have them in Messenger, you know exactly who is interested and you can also schedule a follow-up day or a time for them so that way you can actually close the deal. So using the bead formula, this is how you can become a social media influencer, right? So this way we don't have to say your friends and family don't support you, right? There are over 2 billion people on Facebook, you guys. Let's stop worrying about your friends and family and let's go out there and start building new relationships. You want to be building a network of people and you also want to be attracting new people to you and your business is going to be continue to grow because people are going to continue to come into you. So um, set a goal, right? A minimum of five new people per day. Inter interact with them or engage with their post. Minimum of 15 people per day. 15 posts. 
then you want to make at least one post per day. Now, I know some people are going to say three to five. Honestly, I'm going to say one to three. So if you don't have a bunch of time, you can fit in at least one post per day. And then develop that relationship. This is where you're going to actually close the deal. Now, if you actually received my steps on how I actually get leads, then you know all about um, using Facebook list, you know how to change your target audience, right? So you can actually tie that into the steps to make it more effective. So I hope this information helps. I'll catch you guys on the next one.